Chicago Bears, they rank dead last in the passing game, dead last in yards accumulated, second last in points scored. Here's the part with all the things that you just said, which is right on the money, but one thing you didn't illuminate nearly as much as you should have. Based on what Matt Nagy said to the press, why the hell wasn't Nick Foles starting last week against Cleveland? Right. That's the whole point. And that's the See, message. To, You're right. that's the, so the point is, going into the game, what I said was, Justin Fields is a rookie. Obviously, you know, you're going to give him some reps. He's the future of the franchise, et cetera, et cetera. But when you got Miles Garage, Davion Clowney, and those boys coming at you, that doesn't need to be your first start. Not with that anemic offense, not with that offensive line, not with Matt Nagy being the guy at the helm. You don't need to put him in that situation. If you're going to start the brother, start him against the Lions <laughs> instead of against the Cleveland Browns, even though the Lions haven't been bad this year. Here's my point. Here's my point. In the end, after that disastrous performance where Justin Fields gets sacked nine times, gets slaughtered, yeah. you come out the next day, and what do you say? I don't know who my quarterback right. is, which means it could be anybody. And if it could have been anybody, why wouldn't it be a guy that won a Super Bowl championship for you that's been in the league for 10 years? Why wouldn't it be that guy that was standing on the sideline next to the injured Andy Dalton saying, this offense don't work? Ooh. Literally on the sidelines. I'm quoting Nick Foles here. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. And so when you look at it from that perspective, it's just the latest element that highlights Matt Nagy may not be the guy for this job in Chicago. Certain dudes are coordinators. That's who they are. When they call plays. Th when they call plays. He wasn't calling That's plays right. in Kansas City. There you go. There you so, go. I understand that. Well, Eric <laughs> Bieniemy, we all want him Eric to be Eric Bieniemy is Some, calling plays. Yeah, but sometimes Andy Reid was in the past. And that's, yes. why, that's why we were lamenting it, because we were like, if Andy Reid, if you really, really support this brother, being a guy that should be a head coach in the NFL, let him call some plays so everybody isn't looking at you and saying, you're the guy really calling the plays. Let Eric Bieniemy do that. I understand that wasn't Matt Nagy, but in the end, it still comes down to the fact this man doesn't seem equipped to be a head coach no. of an NFL franchise. And, and you hide behind head coaches all the time. We see it in New England with Bill Belichick. We, it, it, because of the success that you have, people automatically assume that that guy behind him is going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Now, look, Jeff is right. It's simple, man. I could, right now, having not been in the NFL, in a coach's room, I can literally, I promise you, walk into Chicago this week and put a game plan together, and that brother will have more success than he did against Cleveland. Right, right. Really? I promise you. It was that bad guy? It, it because awful, it's man. not that difficult. Right. It make it more complicated than anything. I heard what you said. Mm -hmm. Nick Foles should be the starter. Why would you blah, blah, blah against Against Jamie Cleveland. Cloud, against you know? Cleveland, yes. But that's not true, though. Here's okay. why. The game plan sucked. They didn't move him nearly as much as they should have. They, and, and to the point where when you start hearing people like Miles Garrett laughing yeah. At the fact that he got four and a half sacks. He said he was shocked. Play. He the said he was they shocked. They was anticipating being chipped on the edges, tight ends coming in motion, yep. receivers coming down the block to seal off the edges. None of that ever happened. Well, right? remember, just to just correct before I let y'all chime back in, I didn't take the position that Justin Fields shouldn't start against Cleveland because of Justin Fields' talent. I understand. I took the position because of who he was playing for, yeah. which is Matt Nagy. Yeah. And I'm saying, no, not, not him in that because situation because I can't trust Matt Nagy. He didn't put a competent game plan okay. together to protect the dude. Right. Yeah. If you put a, a game plan together for him to have success, like even though Mac Jones is one and two, okay. he's having success Absolutely. as a rookie in New England yeah. because that game plan works for his youth. Right. Yeah. They'll take the training wheels off at some point in time. But not right now. Mm -hmm. They didn't even put a training wheel package no. together for Justin Fields in Chicago. And when you talk, so you about, don't have a chance. Yeah, when you talk about ruining guys, you know, you always hear like like quarterbacks don't need to be bubble wrap. Like this whole conversation of oh, you can ruin a guy, you ruin a guy because you mm. create poor habits for that player long term, right? Mm. Everything's about the process for a quarterback. Why I say young quarterbacks should play early is because you need to learn that process, like. He'll go in. Justin Fields should go in. There's a play where he did a zone read, and they trigger blitzed him, and they sacked him, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and, and they had the tight end blocking Miles Garrett on the left-hand side. Well, the problem was, was is he's smart. turning left, and his, his open receiver is going to be on his right. Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, they would call off the play action. Yeah. Hey, hey, Wait, no, 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 no. Free check release, do what else. you're going to do. I'm going to pop out and do that. Justin Fields can go back and look at that. When he was max protected and took a sack, it was a third and ten, and they run basically hooks, and the defense is playing at the sticks to prevent it, right? Dump it off to the tight end. You might not get the first down, but you won't take the sack. 
That's a learning process. That's a process to teach a quarterback, hey, here's some things you can work on. The problem is mm -hmm. when you let him get hit like mm -hmm. he did, mm -hmm. now they create habits where, man, they're panicking. Pull him panicking. down, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm they're going to panic, down, man. And now it's not, it's not a process of rolling him out of the pocket, mm -hmm. doing the nakeds and boots and protecting but, but, him. But it's, it's hurrying to make a play happen that's going to create bad habits for interceptions there's no, there's no, and sacks. There's no debate in here. I'm asking. I'm, I'm just asking oh, questions yeah. now. Yeah. Here's my question. Based on what you're both telling me, uh -huh. why should Justin Fields play in another game this I'd season as long as, as long as Matt Nagy is the coach? Right now. Why should he? Why should yeah. he play? Because based on what you said, hopefully, I mean, if you're talking about they didn't come with a training hope, wheels hope, plan, hope, hopefully, yeah. the coaches learn from this past weekend. Hopefully, we seen them two years or last year. Mm -hmm. Struggle to figure out Mr. Trubisky in that's the right. beginning. Well, the right. beginning that, is okay. That, that's the they most struggled. worrisome part, too. Then, that's a great point. The second half of the season, they kind of started to let Mr. Trubisky do Mr. Trubisky things. But by then, the town Chicago had soured on Mr. Trubisky. Right. They, he never had a real shot to come back. But see, so I, I had and to move on from it. So it's not that they're not incompetent to figure it out. It's not competent. It's just, can they figure it out? Because you can't tell me, Jeff. What is it? Nine dudes on the coaching staff on offense? Oh, nine, yeah, come on. You can't tell me nine Some coaches on the coaching staff on the offensive side are all blind right. to what just happened. And I don't they, believe they, that either. I got you. Key's point about Trubisky, they put him in a drop back in a pocket passer position, which was not the best benefit. They did the same thing to Fields on Sunday. So what does that do? That puts him on the defensive all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He can't use his athleticism. Mm -hmm. When you get a guy moving and he's in the flow he's of the game, going. he can now but manipulate defenders. So the problem with what my concern would be, Ryan Pace, their general manager, right. his first meeting should have been with Nagy after the game. We will not have this again. We will not five, 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 I'm going to tell, I'm I'm tell you where I'm at with it. Based on what y'all, I'm going off of what y'all are telling me. Yeah. This is my position. I would be fearful of putting Fields back in the game as long as Matt Nagy is coaching. And if I don't see any adjustments made by Matt Nagy in some capacity, I'm not waiting till the end of the season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.